We are at the Army Corps of Engineers Connemaw Dam in western Pennsylvania to see a dredge project. The dredge project involves removing 50 feet of sludge from in front of this dam. It is an important recreation lake and a fishing lake for western Pennsylvania. We're going to be using a DP-150 pump here today. There's our DP-150 pump with the jetting rings. It's being lowered down into the sludge. It's suspended from a crane and being lowered into the sludge. It pumps into a booster pump. We need a booster pump as we have 3,500 feet of 10-inch discharge line. about 180 amps and uh, we can use a straight cross the line conventional starter for this electric powered pump. There's our starter and we also have a 230 KW Onan generator, diesel generator. so we can operate 24 hours a day around the clock. Here's our booster pump. It's powered by a 400 horsepower diesel engine with a transmission so that we can get any particular speed we want for our discharge configuration. It required about 80 PSI to get the solids through the pipeline. the jetting water for our DP-150 pump at 500 gallons a minute and 80 PSI. At the other end of our discharge pipe, we are taking a grab sample. What we have is 32% solids and a 1.19 specific gravity of slurry. It is real thick milkshake-like slurry. When it's dropped onto the ground, solids pass out into these earthen levees that were constructed for this project. Uh, the flow pattern through them serpentine so that we can uh, give us the maximum amount of uh, retention time and solid settling time. At the other end of this system of earthen levees, we have an emergency overflow pond. This is in case we get a real nasty rainstorm and uh, this would hide some of the extra water that we encountered during the course of the project. At the far end of this, over here you see a rock structure that acts as our filter. Any water that's dewatered from the sludge has to pass through this rock structure and when it gets out that rock structure it eventually flows through to the lake. a good shot of the clear water as it passes on out to the lake through the rock structure. See a small amount of fines there that have uh, accumulated along the sides, but by and large we got some nice clear water coming through the filter cloth and the rock medium on the side walls of these earthen levees. Eventually what they're going to do here is take all the earth that they used to construct these levees and then put it on top of the dewatered sludge for ultimate disposal.